Hey there Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, this is Debra and guys we are into TGIF, thank god it's Friday, catch up for Friday the 8th of May. Hope everyone is well, it is so good to be with you again, thank you for being here. To my new subscribers, thank you so much, to my regulars, it's amazing to have you with me again. So welcome, let's see what's going on between you and your person. Alright. So let's start with our usual little guided message from Archangel Michael. Let's see what he has to say. So here we go, guys. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. What do we have, please, for my beautiful air signs? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Friday the 8th of May, moving into this weekend and a brand new week. Thank you, Michael. What is your main message for my air signs, Friday the 8th of May? Thank you. Ready for the change. Ready for the change, air sign. You're ready for the change. Whatever that means for you, preparing for a new cycle, okay? A change of life, a change of job, change of relationship, whatever this is for you, changes afoot and you're ready for it you're prepared michael's also saying you've done your inner healing work so whatever that means for you okay yes he's also saying to me ascension wow all right okay let's see where this goes let's see where this goes Slippery cards. Michael's saying, for some of you, you're feeling a bit all over the place. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. Almost as if you know you're going to embrace this, you know you're going to do this, but there's a sense of feeling nervous, maybe a bit emotional, okay? about what you're about to change, jump into, delve into, experience in this new cycle. Mm, a lot of fear coming from whoever your partner is, a lot of fear energy. Whenever I see fear, Michael shows me like a dark energy, a dark cloud. Could be toxic energy, you could have decided to change a relationship. Move away from a connection that was causing you stress. Okay? Hmm. Moving into Psychic Tarot, John Holland. So Archangel Michael, two cards from the Psychic Tarot deck, please. I'm feeling as if this might be... Thank you, Michael. Um, a bridge. I'm actually feeling a bridge. Um, you may have a lot of pushback from this change. Somebody is not wanting you to change, to move, to move directions. I'm getting a lot of pushback, toxic energy or fear from this person, whoever this is. Yeah. So it could be that you're nervous because maybe you're having to stand up for yourself. But I'm feeling a very calm energy around you. Um, yeah, calm energy. Let's move into Kipper. So Archangel Michael, two cards from the Kipper deck, please. For some of you, this is leaving a job, signing on the dotted line for a new job. For some of you, I have to say, you could be ending a long-term situation, okay? For those of you ending a long-term situation, and this is intuitive, I have no idea what the cards obviously are on the board um if you're leaving a long-term situation your partner air sign is not wanting to let you go there could be a battle okay but i'm feeling you're prepared there's a very calm energy and i think it's because you've made the decision you decided no more sitting on the fence no more hanging around no more wondering do i do this or not you've made the decision you're very calm about it yeah. 
<laughs> okay, now let's have a look and see what the cards have to say. All right. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, let's look at your current energy. <laughs> yeah, page of cups in reverse. No more communication with someone holding back. Okay. For some of you, your person may be expecting an apology for some reason but i'm i'm saying that i'm actually feeling a lot of irritation from this card as if you're feeling well i've got nothing to apologize for um so why would i need to apologize i don't know why but for one or two of you it's a sense of well you didn't put effort into the relationship or you're the one that caused the problem. So why should I apologize for pulling out of this connection? Okay. For some of you, you're concentrating on your child, your children who might be a bit unbalanced with this change. Air energy. Ten of cups. I'm really feeling that for those that this resonates with, you are concentrating on yourself, your stability, your own family, could be your parents, your siblings, right? Your kids, stabilizing yourself, going through a period of calm, rest and relaxation, getting yourself balanced again, being able to breathe again, you know? For some of you, you're thinking about who you want to be with, who is your Ten of Cups. And you may be holding back from messaging that person quite yet until you are really ready. Maybe for some of you, disconnecting from someone else. Yeah. And preparing to move forward in a new direction. Yes. For some of you, you're definitely dealing with a karmic partner who is very unbalanced, maybe very unhappy that you're making this change. You could be connected to a Taurus or a Libra. Um, the Empress in reverse is you, though. If this is your energy, air sign, this is you feeling there's no progress in this. There's no change in the situation. So, you know, why the hell am I still here is that sort of energy. What am I doing still sitting in a situation that's not going anywhere? For you male air signs, you are coping with a karmic partner who is probably angry. And it may well be because she is super codependent. This is a bit of a princess. This is someone who doesn't put in the effort and the work, expects everything handed to her. This is somebody who might have had a very good life, but not worked for it. Okay, Somebody who was um, happy to sit at home, reap the benefits of your work but not actually appreciating what you did for the connection, okay? So you might be happy to leave this behind. Interesting energy. So the end of a cycle with a karmic partner, potentially somebody not very happy to see you walk away. You're withholding communication and you're thinking about maybe potentially moving forward towards somebody else, or you're just stabilizing yourself at the moment air sign until you feel it's the right time to move forward to, towards someone. But I feel that that's definitely in the back of your mind. This is what I'm aiming for. Got to detach from one situation first before I move forward with said person. Okay. <laughs> Let's have a look at the other person's energy. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm actually hearing hearing the words temper tantrum. Somebody's a bit immature here. Somebody is feeling as if they have been um, unduly treated. Um, if that's the word, things weren't fair. You did this. You did that. When actually, this person's got nothing to complain about. This could be a big offer that's going to make them happy. It could be a large divorce settlement. It could be, don't worry, you're going to keep the house. Um, 
But this person is standing there a little bit sort of, no, I don't want it. I know I just don't want it. I'm just not interested. A little bit of a temper tantrum. Not good enough, right? This isn't good enough. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, God, not good enough. Yeah, there we go. Strong Taurus, divorce. Okay. Yeah. Oof, okay, I'm hearing the word princess. I'm sorry, but for you air sign guys, you are leaving behind someone who was very codependent on you, potentially didn't put in enough effort into the connection, expected things. I keep, I keep seeing this person with a handout like Oliver, right? I want more, I want more, I want more. It's not enough. I want more. More money, more things, more attention, more time. A little bit of an immature energy, right? As if this person expects the best, but they're not, or they haven't put in the effort to deserve it. I'm so sorry if you cross watchers out there. I don't mean to be this for, for this to be um, at all personal slant on you, but there is someone here in the mix who is leaving behind a very unhappy karmic partner. And the karmic partner is having a little bit of a strop, okay? Mm. Yeah. The Fool. So, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, guys, you could have Aries in your chart, or this could be an Aries, okay? But this is someone who is just a little, I keep hearing the word childish, a little bit petulant, a little bit nagging, a little bit... You know, someone who complains the whole time. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And maybe somebody who might even use, you know, baby talk to get what they want. Oh, please, baby. You know, that sort of pathetic. Um, I'm sorry. I just, that irritates me, that sort of energy. A bit overly victimized. You know, I can't manage on my own. You can't leave me. I don't know what I'd do. That sort of energy. Um, mm, but air sign, I'm feeling a very calm energy. You're kind of out of it. Whatever this person does, I'm feeling that you've, you've just lost the respect for them. You've lost that passion for them. You've, you've just moved on emotionally. And I think you have grown emotionally, um, and grown up spiritually, right? You might've known this person for 20 years. You could have married in your early twenties high school sweetheart type stuff, um, but you're a different person now. And I think you're realizing that the person you married hasn't grown and wanted to develop as a person as much as you did. You've grown apart. Michael's showing me an ocean, right? He's actually showing me a map with an ocean. There's oceans apart. You guys are oceans apart. Now there could be two people that live a distance now. Maybe one person had to travel for work. One person had to stay in a different country. But you're breaking free, air sign. You're breaking free. Let's have a look at psychic tarot. Okay. So your person has stood their ground. I want this. I want that. I'm not happy. Right? Digging in their heels. Not wanting for you to move off and in the opposite direction. But I'm just getting calm energy from you. Yeah. <laughs> air sign. Chilled out. Right? This person is having a strop because they're realizing you're running away with the money, the purse, the kids, whatever this is. They're not happy. And you're just relaxing, thinking about your future, settling your energies. Maybe you've been through a bit of a battle in court with this person, divorced, right? Offered this person whatever you felt was justified. No, I don't want that. That's not enough. I expect the house. I want a big settlement. I want this, that and the other. And I think you might be over that time now. Past that time. And you're just looking to the future. Looking to the future. Holding back any form of communication from this person again. Holding back. I don't want to talk to, the, talk to you anymore. It's all in the hands of lawyers, right? Let's just move on. This person is still angry. Still angry. Still can't believe that you've, you're have heading off in a different direction. Remember, this could be switched, guys, okay? Um, mature woman. 
So for you guys, you could be leaving a mature woman. For some of you, you are the mature woman. Okay. But there's a balanced number here. So this all came about to create balance. Four is stability, right? Seven is a very spiritual number. Six is equal give and take. I mean, this is you getting balanced. Yeah, courthouse. I mean, this would have been a challenge for you. Three and two is five. It's a challenge. Change is always a challenge. So for some of you, you've divorced a mature woman. For some of you, you are that mature woman and you are divorcing because there was no growth in your connection. But I'm feeling that whoever this is for now, air sign, there is a sense of I'm getting myself regrounded. I'm getting myself sorted out. I don't need to stress about the situation anymore. It's over and done with. Your person, whoever they are, is still kind of seething, still kind of not happy. Okay. Feeling a bit nonchalant, feeling a bit restless. No, I don't want it. It's not good enough. Whatever you offered in terms of settlement, standing their ground, but I just think you're in a very calm place. Well, it's done. What's done is done. I've had enough. I'm not doing this anymore. So a very exciting time for you, air sign, because this is for someone who is looking at a new life, looking at a new path. And I've got the word freedom in my head. Yes, you might be wanting to move forward towards somebody else. But I think for now, you are in just enjoying peace and calm. No arguments, no drama, no princess behavior. OK, if this is a guy, he's just being difficult and you just didn't want to be dealing with it anymore. This is you just chilling, okay? Really nice energy. Preparing to open a new door is what I'm hearing from Michael, okay? Wow. All right, air sign. I ain't going to leave it there. If this is for you, do reach out. DebraClaire.com down below in the description box. Um, do join me on Instagram, Debra Claire Channel Guidance, and I shall be back very, very soon for your mid-month reading. See you then. Lots of love. Bye now.